this stream. We have Friki vs Kara. Um, this is the decider match between those, and uh, the winner will go to the top eight, and hopefully uh, they're prepared for this last match. Yep. So f uh, 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 Friki uh, got his Paladin band, so he has Druid, Warlock, and Rogue left, and Gara has uh, Paladin, Warrior, Shaman left. So his so we didn't get the lineups for Tex. Which would you say is favored? Um, that's a good question. Uh, well they they already faced before. Um, yeah, and Gara uh, won, so yes. it's definitely so kind of yeah, leading so towards Gara. Indeed, that's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure if if they stick with the same bands, but I think they did. I think the it's the same bands. I think it's like the same bands again. Yes, yes. So and I, Gara, I if I remember correctly, three would with his Paladin, didn't he? Uh, oh, let's jump into the game. Yes. So let's see if we can do that again. Because it didn't seem like uh, Freaky had a natural uh, counter to Paladin in his lineup. And Gara's just starting out with the Paladin right away. Yeah, so it's Handlock VS. And Secret both Paladin. hands look very good, actually. Oh, the Shredder is nice. Gara has a solid curve, Secret Keeper, Mini Bot, Coin Shredder. But Freaky has the necessary cards he needs as well. He's got some early removal. He has a, a 4 drop as well. But he's really looking for is a AOE, and there it Ooh, is. Oh, he has it, so that's pretty good. So now nice. he just needs one giant, and he's got all the pieces Handlock needs. He decides to play this, maybe the Sunfiri to contest the Secret Keeper. So that's he actually Gara has a very heads up play. Yeah, so he has to uh, play around. Um, if He has to play off curve if he wants to keep his Secret Keeper alive. Or he just he takes could it. Coin the yeah. call camera now, which is a pretty reasonable play, in my opinion. But this is a more yeah. aggressive line, putting a bunch of stats on board. And then you can just play Kokaima next turn. Or Muster for Battle, depending on how he trades. Yes. But the Mortal Coil takes care of that Secret Keeper, and that's good. Secret Keeper is something that can spiral out of control very easily. It's back again with the Redemption. I imagine we'll see the Muster from Battle for Gara. Yeah. It just lines up so well. Do you think like the mini bot with Redemption was a correct play? Because you could also like just give away the Secret Keeper, just play the the two drop, and then just coin Shredder. I think it was fine. He ends up with a very big board yeah. here. I mean, obviously, free well, free is two it options. It's fine. Yeah. It's he can just play Shredder, but like he's playing the Drake now, so. Well, do you think? Yeah, Gara has to trade in a little bit. He could just help by this board. I mean, it's four, yeah. four minions, and one is a growing I minion. I like, I like the Twilight Drake. There's some cards that punish you a lot, though. Yeah. Owl, Blessing of Kings on the two-two. This guy Which actually play an owl in his deck. I know uh, he plays one in his warrior as tech, but I didn't see it in his uh, paladin. It is a tech card. We saw someone playing it earlier. Owl in uh, it was Frodan, wasn't it? Yes, he, he, he has it in his paladin. So he's Gara just going isn't full bothering to trade at all. Yeah, just so he, he's just saying you don't have Molten Giants. Which is probably the correct way to play this matchup. Yep. The Secret Paladin has no way to deal with Molten Giants. There's no Equality, Indeed. no BGH. Some run Aldors, but this doesn't look like that version. Okay. So, so what would you do here? That's... It's actually very awkward. So you yeah, wanna uh, maybe just Coke Hammer and Hero Power, so you have like the Defense Shoot next turn on your Blessing. I actually like that line. It's a yeah. little bit slow, though. And you're going to set your opponent right to 11, which means he can do things like Molten Giant Belcher, Molten Giant Heal Bot. Yeah, but he could al al already, like, he's already in Molten Giant range 13, so he could, like... Yep. And we're just going to see the Belcher here. It's another card which really, uh, Secret Paladins don't have an easy way g to get through Belchers. Like, their biggest weapon is True Silver, it's one short, and so on. So do you think he would play the Shredder, or do you think... I think Kings is the correct play here. Yes. Yeah, and this It's interesting, he's uh, basically playing around Owl by Kings. In indeed, that's... But that's not really second nice. Hellfire. And Freaky feels under pressure here. He's going to heal bot, Dark Bomb the 5 2. But Gar is starting to run out of yeah. steam. He's looking for his challenger, he's looking for its boom. 
True Silver's not really what no. he's after. And just more face. Yeah, and even the secrets. Let's keep your defense shield, then you can concentrate, so that's pretty good. What do you need as Freaky here? I think a uh, Giant is number one on your list, Molten. Or actually just a Taunt Giver with those two yeah. uh, Ancient Watchers would be good enough. But he, he already has 8 power on the board, so, so like 2 silver is already lethal. So he's going to have to tap into something. He doesn't know that though. Yes. Well, you could Owl and attack into... No, because there's a uh, Noble Sacrifice up. Indeed, so... Like yeah, you, need taunts, you, you need taunts or heals or board clear, but yeah. Okay. Right, and last and yeah. Card he's looking for. That's in the deck to deal with uh, control matchups. Yeah, nothing you can do. It's an owl and attack into the shrine. Yeah, I hopefully, think. like he maybe he gets like. Doomsay out of it. But yeah, it won't happen because we know what the secret we know is. What secret yep. it is. And Gara takes a very, very fast first game. And it's a very straightforward game. Yep. You basically went at the start, he's like, I don't have a hand that can deal with Molten Giants, so I'm just going to pretend there's no Molten Giants. Yeah, like if you have low attack and Challenger, you can play it a little bit slower, but he didn't hit any of those, so he was just like... He was like, I've got to go all in. I say you don't have the Molten Giants, and he didn't. Um, so that was pretty good. So this is, uh, this is the same situation Freaky was in before. Yes. Like, in fact, he got a win with his Warlock last time, and then Gara 3 over the Paladin, but now the Warlock's even gone. Yeah, so Gaurus still has his power. Yeah, so, so he has Rogue or Druid left. So do you think he will take his Rogue against? I Last time he picked Rogue first, because I, I casted that game. and I think he will pick his Rogue into the Paladin, right? The thing is, it's not that favorable a matchup. It's not like Rogue against mid-range Paladin. Oh, he's he picking picked the, the Druid, druid this okay. time. He was very close to winning last time with the Druid. It all came down to a Avenge target. If the Avenge landed on the 6-6, he could BGH it. And it would swing the game, yes. but it didn't. It landed on the mini bot, which is, of course, the worst case scenario. But this is the more aggressive version with secret keepers as well. So, oh, and the fine favor. That's pretty good against handlock. I think it's a one up. We've seen we only s we've only seen one a game so far. Now, do you rat this right away? How scared do you play? He he's going for the the Nasus. Okay. Uh, it contests that. Which is fine, and even if he buffs, he needs to buff it twice, so no way he's gonna do that. Yeah, I like this way, it's like two secrets is very unlikely. Yes, and like you can still fret it, like if you place one secret, you can fret it. It comes back with one HP, you can just kill with the Nasus, so that's good. So this is a much worse hand from Gara. Having the hero power turn two with an aggro deck is usually a, yeah, a sign of a very poor start. Yeah, so you can play the shade, that's pretty good. So so you have to play Mustard here and just trade the, the Nasus. That top Ooh, deck is actually a very big deal. Yeah, yes. Kokam is even better. Both players playing cards off the top. Getting their cur filling in their curve perfectly. So I imagine... Uh, this I is a pretty bad turn though. Like, yeah, no, this you just oh yeah, well growth and then you go... Uh, ramp to your 5 yeah, drop. Indeed, you have two 5 drops. Like you can go 5 drop and then turn 6 you have the Keeper with Fred or Hero Power and then you have another 5 drop plus Hero Power or Fred, like depending what you want. So that's pretty good. This is interesting from uh, Gara. Because he's played the Cog Hammer first, play Muster, which is usually a very strong card to play early, kind of doesn't give him value because he deletes his weapon. Yes. But it's nice to do it anyway. Yeah, he does have the Defiant Favor as well. Yeah, he just wants to get those cards out of his hand. Normally, normally I don't like playing the fine favor before Challenger because you will draw into your secrets and that's pretty bad. So normally you want to play the fine favor after you play the mysterious Challenger. And we should point out that this game he does have the mysterious yes, Challenger in his hand, which is such a big deal against Druid. Mini bot that just helps fill his curve out. So it's gonna draw two cards. Yeah, that's fine. And. No secret. no secret, so that's He's pretty very good. happy. I wouldn't even trade my board in. I would just keep it as is, so that the challenger can buff so everything so up. So you're saying you're not afraid of swipe? 
He uh -huh. didn't play swipe last turn, so... You must certainly didn't play swipe, so... Yeah, but like, 5-drop is also pretty good against 1-1s. One Maybe you do play around it. Mm. The thing is, you can't get through the, even like the second part of the belt chair. You just time yeah. to give up your boards. I think, uh, indeed, not trading is, is a fine plane as well. Alright, he's going for but the trade. Yeah. I can't fault him for this at all. Nope. It's pretty scary. Like, getting swiped, you lose so much. And then you still have to deal with the Belcher. Yeah, we've been attacking with the Secret Keeper. Just wants to get that down. Yep, he has the weapon, so he can deal with it next turn. So he's going to Wrath for 1 and Shredder over the 5-drop. I like this play. Yes. But now Do Doctor six. six is coming. Uh, I think he's going to get the full Christmas tree. I think Gara's playing all five secrets and he hasn't drawn any yet. So unless he top decks one this turn. Ooh. Oh wow. This, this hand is insane. And he didn't play any secret yet, right? Yep, there we go. The full tree. Yeah, but that means his second horse will also have lots of value. Yep, and it thins your deck so much when you play the... Um, when you play the challenger, like that effectively drew five cards, the mysterious challenger. Such yeah. an insane card. And Gao won't die to combo, like Frika doesn't have any combo pieces in his hand yet. And Therian is also pretty big, so Freaky can deal with the board this time though. He can proc the trap and trade his two minions in if it if the well, avenge lands on the six six. Yes. Let's see if it happens. Else you can just silence it and trade. Uh, is it worth it? Um, or you can just attack. Yeah, you can just. We might actually see Freaky just go face here. He's got a charge in hand, and he can put push yes. the uh, paladin yes, down. Yes, I, I like this. The thing is, you give the uh, paladin such a big board. Indeed. Oh, but uh, like... Um. I think you have to trade with everything as Paladin and then just replay the next challenger. Well, no, uh, yeah. I like the low tap as well. Because... Well, uh, challenger gives you a... um. A, 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 you mean the Noble Sacrifice? Noble Sacrifice, yeah. Yeah, but he wants to... Um, and that's game, right? Six seven, it's only seven, isn't it? Yes. So it not isn't. game. Nope. So how do you defuse this board? The taunt is so weak. Like I think Freak is looking at double keeper to remove one minion. And that only relieves eight, ten, kind of eleven damage on board next turn. I must the and then go face with the Oh yes. Oh no, but now he doesn't have the silence for Therian. But uh, he could draw into swipe for Lethal. And how much damage does he actually have here? He has Is 16, 17. Yes, that's lethal. lethal. I don't understand why you wouldn't uh, double keeper the 6-6. Six, six. Because you still uh, set up lethal for next turn, simply with the attack face, with the 2-2 uh, two, two Divine Shield. Like, if you're going to play both keepers, take that 6 damage off the board. Okay, so uh, he only has his rogue left. He has his rogue left, yes, Freaky so does, against the secret paladin. It's not terrible. It's not terrible, it's not great either. Like, zapping Dr. Boom, zapping Tyrion. They just come down next turn. Indeed, but it's like, you have to win three times. Uh, you have also his control warrior left, which your rogue. Oh, yeah. Um, did he play Assassin's Blade, actually, in his rogue? I think, I think he did. I've seen Assassin's Blades played today. So well, yeah, by Gara. you need the Assassin's Blade if you play against Warrior. And then still, it's a pretty tough matchup. So here we go, the, the Rogue versus uh, Paladin. Coin goes to the Paladin, it's a very big deal. Rogue is the class which loves to have the coin, and already a good curve by Gara. An excellent curve, yes. I should say. That's about perfect. If you Indeed. have to pick your so hand... He's, he's just going to coin out a 2-drop. Play another two drop, play a three drop, and then see what he can bless. Which uh, two drop would you play first? Would you play around backstab? Uh. Yes. 
creeper first. It doesn't really matter. It, well, yeah, well, you, you would can break. Hero you would power break. Yeah, backstab indeed. a mini yes. bot, but you can't hero power backstab a creeper. Yes. So going creeper first, I think, is a very smart indeed. play. Indeed. Indeed. It's just so tempting to put the mini bot out for the damage. Probably see a re yeah. hero power by the rogue. Yep, and Gara has to play most of battle here. Yep. Rogue's one of the classes which has the easiest time dealing with muster for battle. I found it nice, which lines up perfectly. They also have the option of using a blade flurry if they don't think they need it for later. Indeed. But he can only blade flurry once. He has two tink oils, so that's a lot of damage though. Yep. So you don't want a blade flurry before your tinkers. And not using the weapon to kill a 1-1 is a clear sign to Gara that there's likely a Blade Flurry in hand. So how would you play this turn? You can either True Silver down before 3. I, I, yeah, I think a, a 2 Silver is fine and then trading off your 1-1s to see what comes out. For first you see, of course, what comes out. Unstable Ghoul. That's the worst case scenario. And then just start, yeah, and this fine. So Brig is basically playing his curve now. He has a five drop. Oh, is he gonna he go for well, the Well, if you play low attack here, it's pretty bad. He just two silver and trades in one one. So he's gonna play a farce here. It's a slightly worse target for, to be true silver, but it's still not amazing. He does get the re a re dagger though. You could. Attack and a knife juggler muster for battle. The other option is noble sacrifice and the blessing of kings to go face. You probably put the uh, kings on the mini bot in case it gets zapped, because the uh, minion would yes. rather replay. I I think you play indeed the blessing here because you don't want to overextend to blade flurry. You like that play as well. Yeah, the knife juggler muster for battle is good whenever you play it. Yeah, so w what will he do next turn? Like, he, he doesn't, uh, like, two Tinkers and two bla and a Blade Flurry and a low tab, it doesn't do much against. He needs uh, to find, like, a, a prep, something to cheapen those cards in his hand. But even he's then already getting pretty low. He's at 13. Edwin is not going to help him here. Edwin might have been a good card in the early game. Yeah, he had the backstab if he had gotten a prep as well. That's one way to win against the, um, yep. the secret paladin. They don't run owls. They don't run uh, BGH. Foden does. <laughs> Go down to next level. But it's just really no good play here. Nope. Like you could just Tinker Oil, yeah. pass, and then next turn Tinker Oil, Blade Flurry, and just kill everything. No matter what he plays. But doesn't uh, th Wait, doesn't he have lethal if this board's fives? Because you have the Knife Juggler plus three knives, that's four. Four plus five, nine, plus two. Is he one off? Five, yes. seven, eight. It's one off. Yes, but he has low tap, so. So it's not but an option. But, but still, like, he doesn't have any heals. Um, he'll just keep going face here. Maybe, maybe just... Yeah, probably just Knife Juggler Hero Power push No, phase. don't you want to keep the Knife Juggler for your Mustard so you have lethal next turn? Uh, it's assuming the 5-5's five trade, which is, I guess is likely. There's some things you can top deck. You, the, the you do 8 damage curve. to face now. Then he has... 5 left. Yeah, maybe you do save the Knife Juggler. I think, yeah, you. Well, he could probably clear board. <laughs> oh, Avenge for six. What's mana. the other secret, by the way? A noble sacrifice. Noble right? sacrifice. Yes. So, uh, like, he will face tank and then it's three damage and then just go for the nice. So, he wants to go for the Blade Flurry. Tinker's Blade Flurry and then, uh. Yeah, but you have to face tank now, right? You only face tank two. Yeah, but like knife juggler with three knives. Yeah. Plus uh, hero power, plus the weapon. So it's likely he will just, unless this uh, lower tap does really well. 
Like he has to think, tank every hit. Nope. And that's it. Ether with knife jugger, juggler Indeed. master for battle. So that was a pretty quick series. That was like exactly that the same thing happened before. So Gara 3 0 in yeah, the secret paladin. Why didn't he ban the paladin if it I don't happened know. last time? And it just repeated itself. Um, I, I what did he, he, might he picked? He banned Hunter. Hunter is also very weak against this lineup, though. Like, Hunter's very good against Freaky's Druid. It's good against his Warlock, and it's good against his Rogue. Like, yeah, his Warlock is great like with Dragnos and stuff. So, but yeah, so that's well, it. Well, yeah, Gara advanced Gara to advances top eight. The so round of eight. He joins you nice. there, right? Yes. Who else is there? Uh, uh, Orange is there. Orange and, is there. Uh, the other one, I don't know. Okay. But uh, yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow. Some great matches, and uh, yeah, all should come. Do we know watch. what match is coming up next on this uh, uh, stream? No, it's the Group C is coming group up. Group C is coming up. Yes, uh, and I'm not aware of who's in Group C at the moment. Oh, Group D is coming on Stream B, and Group C is on Group on the main stream. Oh, and we have Powder vs Asmodon next, so that's pretty. Ni that's a good match. Also, uh, stay tuned. All right. We'll be back soon. See you guys. Bye-bye.